Hi ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to this channel once again. My name is Afis and I'm your Power BI trainer. In this video, I quickly want to demonstrate to us how to use a particular DAX function, which I think it's the most versatile time intelligence function because knowing how to use it allow you to do a lot of things. Now we are going to create a DAX measure. We are going to create a measure now, which is going to allow us to find the revenue last year revenue last month and revenue last quarter so ladies and gentlemen let's get started we're going to create a new measure we come to our formula bar and we're going to write revenue last year it's going to be cost to calculate and we're going to have our revenue there revenue sum comma and we're going to use um date add date add is what we want to use so with date add you don't need to know how to use previous year previous month previous quarter just use date add and we can put the calendar date inside that the calendar date we specify the number of intervals so this interval can be anything you want it can be minus one for previous for the last year or the previous year and two years ago it will be minus two three years ago it will be minus three if you want to do previous decade, it's going to be minus 10 and your interval is going to be year. So this interval can either be year, quarter, month or date. So it allows you to do a whole lot of things. It is very versatile and dynamic. And we are going to put minus one year. And you can see now that we can specify year. So we put our year here. We close our bracket. We are happy. Everything looks good. Now we can come here now to this table to show our results and we just have revenue last year now we can see now that it works we could have said okay let us create it in another way which is going to be which is going to be let's call it revenue ly and it's going to be calculate again revenue and we, we are going to use previous year so if we use previous year, it's going to give us the same answer, except that um, we use previous year and with previous year, we everything looks good now. But the problem with previous year is it only allow you to calculate the previous year just a year ago. So you can't say you want to go two years back, three years back, four years back, four years back. But with date add you can go forward or backward. So, OK, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue and we press enter and we press enter basically we have our results and if we compare it together we can see down that we are going to have the same results so if we, i put revenue ly here and i try to drag we can see we have the same results except that one allows you to do a whole lot of things it allows you to do a whole lot of things so what we are going to do now is we are going to use date add again to find our previous month so in this case let us just remove this total column and I, i'm going to just remove this guy i'm going to remove this guy okay everything looks good i'm going to create new measure and we want to move two months backward now in this case so i'm going to have revenue two months ago which is going to be calculate we have our revenue song and comma and we are going to have date add again and inside our date add we put the calendar date we put comma and because we are going two months back we have minus two and we have month everything looks good we are happy and close our formula bar we show the results and we can now see now that the first two months is going to be blank because we don't have any previous two months then in this case for january you can see it's the same as march february is the same as uh, february is the same as april so we can see now it is going two months backward so which if you you can't use previous months for this particular case if you create a new measure it can only go back one month time one month ago so if you you we can just say revenue last year just uh, I mean last month which is going to be what calculate the calendar date oh sorry revenue sum first and we have 
previous month we could have used previous month but it doesn't allow you to do more things so you can see we can only put the calendar date inside our date column and that's all that's the only thing we can do and uh, if you just come to date you put it here yes it only allows you we can see now that we have january is the same as february which looks good but you can't do a lot of things with it so let us calculate our previous quarter two using date add so we are just going to create a new measure and we are going to come here revenue previous quarter is going to be calculate the actual revenue then we modify the filter contest with date add and what do we do next we put our, our date column there we specify how many months we want how many quarter we want to go and everything looks good everything looks good then once we are done we just come to revenue previous quarter now let me confirm what i have revenue previous quarter we can now see now that q1 is the same as q2 q2 as the same as q3 q4 the same as q4 which looks good and that is about previous quarter so we could also go forward or backward we can go forward or backward if we want so let me just generate revenue next year now so it all depends on the business case what you are trying to solve or your business need and that is what is going to determine which one you do so you can do backward or forward but date add just is very cool and it allows us to do a lot of things so let me just demonstrate it and i'm going to have revenue next year in this case i'm going to have calculate also i'm going to put revenue inside revenue sum inside i'm going to uh, use my date add again date add and inside my date add what do i put there the calendar date and i'm going to specify number of intervals which means i'm going one year after now which is going to be here close my brackets once close it the second time i press enter now i close my formula bar and revenue next year okay i need to actually put it in this table and we can see the result now revenue next year and we can now see now that for 2014 2015 is the same um revenue next year let us just see revenue next year yeah this is it we can see now that the result of 2015 is the same as 2014 and that is what we have and that is all about data date add so and it's a very cool function that we can use there is also another function that i'm going to be introducing in my next video which is going to be parallel period okay see you guys bye. thank you bye